Uh, Play-in games start Tuesday. Lakers won nine of their last 11. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. Lucky they played garbage teams to win nine of their last 11, and they struggled in a bunch of those games, and they still won nine of their last 11. I'm sorry. For LeBron James to stand up in the locker room after the Sunday game and say, this is cool. We're in the playoffs. We made it. What's cool about being in seventh place in the Pacific Division when you play in that building with all those championship banners? <laughs> What's cool about winning 43 games just a shade above the 500 mark? That's not cool. That's not Laker basketball. These guys open with the play-in game. They finish seventh. They meet Minnesota, which finished eighth. If they win that game, they move on to the second round of the playoffs. If they lose that game, they have to come back Wednesday and they have to pl play the survivor of the other game in, in the Pacific Division. And, of course, what happens after that? The survivor, the Lakers, if they, if they win, they're going to wind up having to go to Denver. Denver finished first in the division. They're in, in the uh, Western Conference. So it's a huge thing. The Lakers are glad they're together. They're still erratic. LeBron and AD have to do most of the work, but they're in, so we'll see what happens on Tuesday. The Clippers, they finished really upbeat. They finished really strong. They're not healthy. But the one thing that differentiates the Clippers from the Lakers, not just Kawhi Leonard, obviously, but they got a lot of firepower. And they got two centers that really bump and grind and make a difference. Uh, you know, if, if the Clippers can come out and shoot threes, and then Kawhi does what Kawhi does, because at this point does not look like Paul George is back, uh, at least for the first round, then the Clippers have the opportunity to go a couple rounds into the playoffs and anything is possible if they get Paul George back. Uh, but the Clippers are not in the playing round. The Clippers wait till Friday and then they renew their rivalry with the Phoenix Suns. And you're going to have to go through Phoenix to be able to go to the next next round of the playoffs. And the Suns are going to have Kevin Durant back. I don't think they're going to have Devin Booker back, which is a that's a big help to the Clippers team. But right now we've seen some real firepower. When those guys are on, and, and they got a lot of guys who can shoot threes, and Kawhi is Kawhi, that's a pretty dangerous basketball team. So is it cool the Lakers finished in seventh no. place? And what do you think about the Clippers shooting threes? Oh, no, I mean the, the Lake, that's just pathetic. I mean, come on. With that, with that, with that history, that legacy, you have to be disappointed that you're the number seven seed. But I tell you, man, I am I'm 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 rooting for these Clippers. Now, granted, I'm a San Diego guy. I should be angry, right? That they left San Diego 30 something years ago. Oh, well, Donald Sterling left San Diego. That yeah. was good. But you know, there I remember like it was in the 90s, right after was it the 90s or the 2000s when the Clippers drafted Blake Griffin? I remember then he blew out his knee like right away. And Sports Illustrated did a whole story about the curse of the Clippers, going all the way back to the Buffalo Braves days to San Diego Clippers and the LA Clippers. I mean, this this is a team that you know you want to see them have some success. A lot of bad history. Yeah, I mean, we need them to turn the corner. And I'm a big Kawhi fan. I was. I hope Paul George can come back. Westbrook seems to be reinvigorated. I mean, they could find their way in in, in a magical run here. Let's let's let's, let's hope so. Well, on the playoffs begin Tuesday, and the Clippers kick it into gear on Friday. And there'll be some great great matchups, obviously, between some of these really high powered teams. One other basketball.